Welcome to Heartland Village. Heartland Village is a development by St. Edward. This stunning development is in a woodland setting. As you can see, all around us, we're surrounded by trees, green, plants, nature. The houses at this development are all traditionally inspired and the quality of the finishes are really something you have to see for yourself. So as part of this development, we've also got a host of woodland areas. There's a country park that's been fully developed for this area, which includes picnic areas, an eco and wildlife meadow, and lots of different areas for walks and just taking in the scenery. So yeah, let's tour the property. Let's get straight into it and I'll see you right in front of the house we're touring today. Welcome to another installment of Property Vlogs. Today I'm here to tour this gorgeous house. We are at Heartland Muse, which is phase two of a fantastic development by St. Edward. So where is Heartland Muse? Heartland Muse is in Heartland Village, a bespoke collection of houses and a village style development by St. Edward. This house type behind me is called The Willow. It's a three bedroom, two bathroom property. Its approximate size is 1,282 square feet and there's a host of unique features inside. So as you can see from the front of the property, it's got a very traditional aesthetic, a very traditional townhouse look to it. It's got parking at the front. This particular house has two spaces plus a little bit more on the side but obviously that's depending on the plot that you go for there's a mix of block pavers which is a more durable material than tarmac a really good quality material and then you can see the facade of the building you've got that Juliet balcony the porch canopy the colored doors adding interest to the streetscape you've got the brick detailing brick sills as well and just traditional meets modern so let's go inside and continue the tour as I welcome you in, come inside. Okay, right, so first impressions, right? So we always talk about the front door. It's white on the inside, green on the outside. You've got this uh, glaze panel in the middle, bringing in lots of natural light into this hallway. And then also the door looks like it's got chrome, I'm hungry and a peephole for looking outside, which is great. In terms of flooring, I absolutely love it when I see this detail. This is such a practical detail. It's that matting. You can dust off the dirt on your shoes and come off that into your beautiful flooring and this flooring is gorgeous we'll see more about this flooring in a second but it continues pretty much throughout the whole of the ground floor so in the hallway what are the you know things that jump out to me i see the doors the color scheme in this space is just divine it's not white it's all done in like neutral tones this one's like a very warm grayish gray light brown color and you can see here you've got the stepped edge profile to this architrave beautifully painted the exact same color as this door and then that continues down into the skirting boards and they're definitely really nice and tall these skirting boards i love that and i love seeing things like door stoppers additional details which obviously show that there's a lot of care in the the property to this hallway we've also got spotlights which kind of create an ambience and a mood and the first door that we're going to go through is this one it's quite a nice sized door actually by the way this door feels very solid come with me and i'll show you your downstairs toilet so this is the downstairs toilet it's a really really good size definitely a good size you've got your radiator and it's a two-piece suite by um, Burlington as well so you've got the Burlington sink and the toilet the white goods you've got a Viega faceplate and a hidden system toilet tiled here and then this is done in a white painted wood effect and then the wallpaper and the staging is just <laughs> just divine i absolutely love it love the tiling love the chrome edging strip there the mirror 
and the little touches and then as you can see the flooring is done and just to point out guys there is an upstand a tiled upstand throughout and it's got that silicon and that silicon is going to be great for acoustic insulation so when you walk on the ground floor it feels nice and solid it's not squeaky and as you're moving away i just wanted to point out there is a window in the downstairs toilet as well yes so coming back into the hallway i love the radiator cover here but again that is decor what we're looking at is that there's a radiator keeping the space nice and warm and it's a nice width that's what's a fixed feature of the home the next door here is this store cupboard slash look and they've obviously put in an appliance in there as well so it can be a multi-function space it's not part of their standard specification so it's optional you can have this simply as a cloak room and there is a light in there and a shelf so it's a super functional and practical space if you put your appliance in there it means it's nice and quiet and it doesn't have to clutter up or take any space from your kitchen space. I want to point before we leave this hallway, yes guys, look at that. That is kind of a bit of a grand staircase. It's very, very um, striking and it's right in front of you when you come through. Um, the flooring is included as your standard specification here as well. I love the fact there's a socket in the hallway already, which is great for hoovering um, the ground floor. Now, welcome into this space. So next space is this open plan kitchen living area. So let's look at the kitchen space, shall we? So it's an L-shaped space. I think they've done a fantastic use of this space and it is quite a long, expansive kitchen. There's a lot of storage. You're not gonna lack for any storage. There's wall-mounted um, shaker style cabinets done in a very dark, I would say this is like a sage, sage green yeah, sage green, uh, shaker style like I was mentioning with this brushed chrome, almost brushed stainless steel actually, handles to it and it's all on soft closes there. You can see underneath you've got this hidden recessed LED lighting which is great because sometimes it's not that hidden and you can see the details. You can also see this gorgeous worktop, absolutely gorgeous quality worktop here beautiful looks like natural stone and it forms the upstand here here you're not going to believe this this is actually where the extract fan is and it's actually hidden away behind here and i love when i see this because the bulk of this cupboard is taken up by the extract fan so they've given you the rest of space so that can easily be a, a space for spices as they've shown you there you've got an induction hob here by Siemens and then underneath instead of having your oven here we've got storage and of course this is where your cutlery drawer is and I'm glad to see details like this so I think they're more practical for our modern lifestyles so if I just open a few cabinets storage you're not, you're not going to see this oh actually this is pretty cool so part of the kitchen is this uh, bin area here that's cool i love that and then storage and then you've got this stunning belfast style sink as well beautiful ceramic sink by range master and it just balances off the rest of the kitchen the shaker traditional style and then here we've got more storage and they've stepped it up a little bit so that when you're washing up you don't have a cabinet right in front of you at eye level you've got your mixer tap here as well and yeah just more of that gorgeous finishing i love the cr polished chrome face plates to the light switches as well and then of course here is where our dishwasher is by hot point that's not it for the kitchen we've got more kitchen to show you on this side we've got our fridge freezer i love the staging in this this is gorgeous so this is fridge freezer it looks like it might be a 70 30 arrangement 70 percent fridge 30 percent freezer and storage here additional storage here and of course storage storage like i said storage is a big feature so you're not going to be short for space and then you've got your double oven there by siemens next thing i wanted to point out is did you mean do you remember when i mentioned about the flooring now we're in this space where you can see it's herringbone formation and then they've gone through the effort of actually doing edging strips all the way around to kind of accent the space now that's not easy to do it can be a bit annoying to ask like a a, a workman to say can you just do this extra detail but they've gone the extra mile so you don't have to do that off the kitchen space is mystery door number one 
additional storage space, aka a pantry. I think this could make a really nicely nice larder or pantry. It's up to you what you want to do, but it's where your fuse board lives, your security system, your BT system goes in there, and they've included a light there as well. So it definitely can be a little larder space in there. And then this guys, wow, this is such a nice area to flow off the kitchen this is your open plan dining snug living area focal points on that wall but equally it could be on that opposite wall i love this dining table it is a six seater but they've swapped out chairs for a bench very very versatile and i think you could probably go a little bit bigger maybe if you want to you can remove the sofa and have this as like a fully a dining area completely or you can remove the dining table and do the opposite and have this have an l-shaped sofa here and maybe an, a couple of armchairs and the tv there again the options are quite endless and then this space leads beautifully off into our garden you can see a little sneak peek in there you've got double doors opening up trickle vents as well so the air is getting exchanged in here fresh air is coming in the spec is up to standard and then we've got two windows either side that open so on a chilly day let's say you just want a bit of fresh air you don't need to open the two double doors you can just open your window and so that's very practical but again is that it no let's go outside and let me show you your garden wow i love this okay so again you have the paving right in front of your dining living area and it spills out into this zone i absolutely love the staging but again we want to highlight what comes with the property so looking back at the rear of the property if you just scoot round you can see your double doors and the windows above what comes with the property you're gonna get an option for the tap and the sockets and then you can see to the right is your access to the front driveway so there is access to the front driveway even though it is a terrace property in this version and then they've obviously showed this amazing outdoor kitchen area but you can do this or have a different option depending on what you like um yes yeah, so and then this storage unit actually comes with the property as well so that's included not many people do that, but it's good to know. And then, guys, look at this. What a stunning lawn and stunning garden. You know, this is a show home. They've really enhanced the garden with some absolutely stunning plants. But again, timber fence in between properties with concrete posts. So by using the concrete posts, that actually is way more durable than having timber posts. Just to let you know, the level of specification has been elevated. And then where you've got the retaining walls, um, the changing levels, you've got these brick retaining walls rather. So yeah, that is the garden tour. Let's go back inside and enjoy the rest of the home. So come with me because there's more house to show you. Much, much more house to show you. Now that we're back in the kitchen, let's go to the first floor. Follow me. So we've actually got carpeted treads here and the carpet obviously dampens any noise. And because it's built to a really good quality, you don't have um, any squeaky steps. Let's go over here. Actually, before we go over there, let's talk about the staircase. So the connection between the ground floor and the first floor is great. You know, you don't feel like it's a pokey, tiny corridor. This is like a solid wood balustrade and solid wood newel posts throughout. And they're also finished in the same color as the skirting boards and the architraves. So it kind of all works together. Now I'm going to take you to the first room on this floor which is your living room living room your formal lounge great size it's kind of l-shaped but majority of it is square in plan which means there's multiple options for your um dual as not dual aspect for your focal point so we've put the armchair here a large armchair and we've put the tv over there again it's up to you what you want to do you could probably swap it over depending on what part of the um what what angle you want to take or what you want to look at i like this little nook here again i always think of different things you could probably remove this armchair and create maybe a work from home area here or or like maybe this could be where your tv could be you can leave this and put an armchair there again this is something you can play with 
Um, I think I've seen people put storage systems in there or multimedia systems in there. That's something you can do. And then, of course, the main feature of this room is this gorgeous Juliet balcony, which is just leading off this room. And you can just see the rest of the development from here. And it's just such an, another, it's such a nice option to have like a full, almost floor to ceiling um, picture window. And you have the option to just look at it and get some fresh air and yeah that's a really good bonus to this room and just in case you thought that was it nope that isn't it oh actually have i mentioned the doors i know i've talked about the architraves and the skirting boards but i actually haven't talked about the actual doors the doors themselves have this really subtle um it's kind of like a nod to a traditional detail a two panel doors but instead of going in and having like a a ripple profile they've actually just gone with a slight etching around in a rectangular shape to kind of make it modern and traditional at the same time on the right now we've got staircase going to the second floor but we've got another room on this floor and that's this one over here the staging is spectacular whoever staged this really needs a bonus because this is beautiful immediately i'm thinking i can use this as a spare room but it looks like it is the main feature room it's got its own ensuite which i'll show you in a second but why do i love this room so much right so we've got a huge bed with an oversized headboard we've got bedside tables either side as you can see plus there's ample space in case if you wanted to upgrade those to be dressers there's sockets either side of the bed the bed itself is a great size yeah so we're talking a king size at the very minimum but you could inc increase it to a super king easily and then you've got here another bedside table i've just spotted this socket actually has the usb 2.0 and the usb c um ports as well which is so contemporary and then here we've got a little zone which has been done as like a dressing table but you could do a work from home area or if you wanted these gorgeous full height wardrobes could be extended all the way across to maximize the storage or you can keep it the way they've done it and it is really really nice really nice why am i saying it's nice well it's very practical it's tastefully done the color scheme matches or accentuates um the existing color scheme and you can just see there you've got a ledge a level a shelf sorry <laughs> at the top level so for things you don't access as frequently as the stuff on the lower level so that's covered and it's soft closes as well there's a thermostat over there so that's good to know you can control the temperature individually and then we're coming off the carpeted bedroom into the tiled ensuite this ensuite now do you think new build when you look at this ensuite leave that in the comments below because i do not this is not a new build this has way too much personality and character for it to be a new build i love the v viega faceplate that we saw downstairs and then the white goods by burlington you normally see these in really high-end hotels so it's really rare to see this type of quality in an actual um in a new build property and then this this storage system this vanity comes with the property along with this this is a storage system guys with a shaver socket hidden away so that means you can charge your electric toothbrushes or shavers away from view hide everything away and still have that modern and minimal look as well you've got this ledge here and you've got the mirror as well inlaid and this is a standard fixture so you're not coming in with your carpenter to try and enhance it this is what you're going to get you're going to get the beautiful half height tiling and i've just noticed the tiles are actually large formats as well large format tiles are always more expensive than small tiles just to let you know and it's done in a concrete effect we've got our shower enclosure over here with a hinge door let me open that how fancy is that let's go inside so this is our shower enclosure and the shower is by myra and the actual face plate the valves these knobs are actually by vado and they're positioned perfectly so you don't have to go under the shower to turn it on and you know when the shower kind of turns on and you're like in a winter's morning you're like oh my god i don't want to be hit by freezing cold water you don't have to do that come in turn this on leave it for a couple of minutes the water heats up and it's a pleasurable shower experience you've got a heated towel rail behind the door to complement the whole space 
Yes, guys, I love that. Oh, and I've just noticed actually the lighting arrangement on here. Let me see if I can play around with this a little bit. Absolutely fantastic. Wow, look at that, Brian. So what I'm doing now is that I've turned on the two different, the two independent systems. You have the option to turn on this pendant lighting in the middle or the option to turn on the spotlights outside which means you can save energy if you just want the pendant on or really add the wow factor by creating that whole, turning everything on and having that feature. Um, coming back into the hallway, let's go to the second floor. Again, up the carpeted treads. I love the wallpaper and the artwork. Just gives you some idea on what you can do in terms of decor. Each floor has sockets on the landing. And then now we are on the second floor and I'm wondering, should we go over there or over here? We're gonna go over here. And before we miss this, there is an additional storage area here. So again, Christmas decorations maybe or linen perfect place to put it there's a light in there boiler is over there humming away silently and then that's great and then this area here is the first of the two bedrooms on this floor you can see here you've got a bit of a vaulted shape a sloping ceiling the ceiling height is still very generous even at the lowest end my height is five foot one so it's definitely suitable i think it's going to be at least five foot five you're not going to have to bend down to get over here plus you've got the dormer here which is even higher up you can see the difference in the heights so the actual ceiling is definitely generous it's over 2.4 and then the actual sloping areas are still generous in ceiling height we've got double windows both of them open great and you can just see views of the rest of the development like we said this is a very scenic development you know there is a village green just around the corner you've got your parks and trails and just lots of woodland um, features nearby uh, this whole wall if you wanted to could be a wardrobe wall so obviously it's staged as a kid's bedroom and you've got this open system but again you can upgrade it to a full wall of storage or wardrobe or a TV large double bed there or a super king would easily fit in there now back in the corridor or the landing we've got this which is your family bathroom which is shared between the two rooms on this floor it's really big <laughs> so it's kind of like rectangular you've got the width of a bathtub here and then you've got those beautiful fit um uh, I was going to say face plates again. Yeah, to be honest, and shout, uh, bathtub bowels there to control, and that's pretty sleek. And then you've got that, and that's by Vado as well. And you've got the tile into the bath enclosure in that large format tile size, and each of the tiles has edging strips plus silicon beading. This silicon also means that water doesn't go into that area. That's an extra construction detail. And then you've got our remember our storage system there with the hidden shaver socket in there and the shelving all the way to the top wow i absolutely love that so you don't have to think oh i'm gonna have to eat up the space in this room with my storage units it's just built into the design let me scoot round and close the door and show you what it's like to be in this room so you have your burlington white goods sink again and toilet and you've got your vanity all included as standard you've got your mirror there as well you've got your fully tiled show enclosure same quality as the downstairs ensuite not downstairs the first floor ensuite and then again the shower valves outside the handheld device by Myra the shower enclosure and the minimal transition between the tiling into the shower in that case again absolutely love the decor guys I love the paint I love the concept and I love the tower rail as well. So that's that room. And then let's finish off by going over here. Wow, okay, lovely. Okay, okay, I'm loving this. Okay, so much potential in this room. This room I would describe as the chilled out room. It is such a zen space, very peaceful and calm. The bed is 100% a king size. The camera sometimes makes it look smaller or bigger, but you can tell it's a king size by the size of the cushions and also how wide the headboard is. You've got great ceiling heights and even just like the other room where the roof comes down a little bit, it's not 
too low by any means plus this dormer then bumps it back up again and the actual ceiling height is above your standard ceiling height so this for a room that's on the top floor is very very generous in terms of heights in terms of what we're looking at we've got space for obviously your bed your bedside tables but there's also ample space around to maneuver at the foot of the bed they've showed like this really cool credenza um here but it's up to you you could probably do like before a full wall of wardrobes along that wall or do a standalone unit like they've done but anyway guys that's been great it's been great having you tour this property with us this property i have to say there's so many things that i really love about it the staging is obviously amazing but it's also the quality of the finishes things that we don't normally see like silicon sealant on all the places that could potentially get wet or have moisture and you know just a host of other little touches with that being said this has been great touring this property with you if you saw anything you want to leave in the comment please do and we'll reply subscribe and we'll see you in our next video which should pop up on the screen so click it and i'll see you in a second bye